thanks for tuning back in to watch me finish building the swing set for our kids. Um, my daughter, River, she, I mean, we, we had a swing set in the, the house that we sold. We took it apart before we left, so we actually brought the swing and the chains and all the hardware. And so my daughter had seen that lying around the, the garage for a while. So she's been asking, I mean, when is the swing set going to be finished? Because, you know, I started a little while ago and then we got... Uh, busy working on the tiny house and, and other projects so it kind of got pushed to the side a little bit so my daughter River she's been reminding me that that needs to be done and she's still waiting for the swing set because they both her and my son Ezio love going to the park and playing on the swings so I'm I had a day when we were waiting on some materials to show up for the tiny house I was like well it's time to finish this so I improved my techniques a little bit from the last video. I'm actually drilling through stuff on the side rather than put it straight up and down because that's I'm able to put the flat part of the material down. As you saw, like I had those rounded legs that on my initial video I tried clamping them down, rounded side up, so I could go I could drill straight down, which made the drilling a little bit easier. But I was able to clamp them a whole lot easier um, when I laid them down on the flat side. So, hooray for using your brain and eventually figuring things out. I, you can see I didn't have my dust mask when I was sanding these at night, so the good old shirt mask was working for me here. I just gave everything a quick sand. A lot of these these had been like reclaimed, had been used outside, so I already had a bit of paint that was like waterproofing, that was like weather resistant paint. and. My kids, they really love help cleaning up. So after I was drilling these holes, they're, they're helping me blow the dust away. And then the same thing for after I got a bunch of dust or sawdust on the, one of my work tables. So they're very helpful kids. And they, they love being around me as I'm working. And here my daughter, River, she's actually helping me sweep up. Um, half the stuff that she swept up she went and dumped in a pile right outside that door I figured that out later and I showed her where she should actually dump it but she's being helpful so I, I definitely appreciate her for for trying and sweeping is one of her favorite things and just cleaning up and even doing dishes now so I wanted to make these as sturdy as possible so rather than just screwing the support boards to the, the flat side, I'm actually notching it out. Ooh, see, they're busy. Mm hmm Ooh, so amazing. They're I'm cutting a bird's mouth here at the end of this, this support piece and it has as a 45 degree angle so I'm able to make this cut here quickly and I just finished it off with a jigsaw to get a nice little notch right here so it'll sit in not on that support piece. Then I'm measuring it to see how long it needs to be. I'll just do a quick angled cut on this and mark out where that needs to be notched. So I'm notching it out, just doing the initial cuts with the skill saw. And then I hammer it out, just break out the, the pieces, and then clean it up with a chisel. It actually works pretty well and goes pretty fast. I love how helpful my kids are. <laughs> You guys can use the brush. You guys want to use a brush? You guys are awesome. Thank you for helping. One of the most useful things that Mary Poppins ever taught me was that if clean is a game, then kids will have fun. So our kids enjoy doing it because for them, they get to play with water or play with like sawdust in, in this case. And it's just awesome having them willing to help us out and help us keep everything clean. When I actually go to put all this together, you'll see that these notches that I'm doing and uh, just the wind braces in general, I made them way too big. 
uh, I was looking at some plans for like building an actual like shed or like a house when I was getting initial like angles that I should put them at. And so when I was getting those angles, I just did the same measurements. I wasn't really thinking about that's that's the size you would need for like a house or a shed, not for a swing set. But I'm just doing an initial paint of coat. I'll do one final coat of paint once I have everything all together, so we all make sure I get all the gaps and there's there's no like open spaces that aren't, aren't covered in paint. And this is a it's like a decking paint that's good for like outside wood materials to keep them protected. You need help figuring out where those go, River? Just put them down. down. Just put them down on the grass right there. It's a good spot for them. Okay. Thank you for your help, River. Yeah. I'm starting to do it now. Yep, we're starting to do it right now. I do it with this. I want you to put these through here. Through here? Yep. Okay, okay, Daddy. Making a swing for river. Hey, Daddy. Yes, river. I'm building this all with like extra wood that I had, so I'm having to deal with some bent boards and everything to make it fun and interesting. So if I lay it on flat on this one, it sticks out way like that, way far out like that. And same thing with this one, I put it on there, this way there, so I need to be able to put it on here and twist it and twist this one as well. So we need to actually lay flat across both of them. This side and this side are the sides where I got the gaps. So if I shave a little bit off of these two, then that'll help reduce the gaps on the other side. When you have a building project like this, you either can start with a set of plans and then go get the, the materials and lumber and everything you need in order to build it according to those plans. Or the other way that you can do it, like I'm doing here, is that you start with materials and these will work for whatever it is you want to build. And then you basically just kind of make plans to suit those materials. So it, I'm definitely dealing with a lot more of uh, like twisted lumber and I have to make a few adjustments to make it work. But in general, this is actually a very efficient way of, of building because then there's very little waste because I'm already had this left over from other projects or I, I acquired it and it's, I'm able to use it and build something positive for my family uh, without really spending a whole lot of extra money. Hey. I love them. Hey. When I first put these together these legs are a little too far in. This was actually sticking out way past here, so I had to shove the legs out that way, which allowed me to bring this in to the level it should be. If I'd actually gone with smaller braces rather than these, which are two feet down and two feet across, I probably could have fit in a third swing under here, but this will work for now. Our kids are still young and small, so they don't need that big of a swing, and I was able to get two swings worth in here anyways, so. This will work you can now. see right here this gap's a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be. I overcut that a little bit. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of a shim. It's actually part of a, another 2x4 that I ripped down earlier. So it's a little thicker than your standard. And just a little bit of glue on it. In the end. And I'm going to beat that in. Kind of fill up that gap. Off whatever is left. And just like that, I've got 
little piece like that so I still have wood, wood, wood and glue hold that all together. It's a great trick that you learn when you've been working with wood, you make mistakes. Cuts too big, shove a piece in there, glue it all together, put a shim in there, and you can fix it. The hardware I'm using to actually hold the swings are eye bolts that actually screw up in there and then have a loop at the end, um, which I can then attach the chains to. But that loop, I can't. I have no way of like putting a drill on that and clamping it down or anything. So I have to manually screw all all four of these eye bolts in. So I tried like some twisting around techniques, just lots of different things to try to make it go faster, and it just it just took time. I can't push you guys. Yep, I'm gonna push you guys. I'm pushing you guys. <laughs> You need to be a little bit taller because your feet are kind of dragging, huh, River? <laughs> this is what I do it for. Yay! Yay. It's done! 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 We got done before bedtime. Done <laughs> bedtime? Yep, before bedtime. So thank you for watching this second part of me putting together a swing set for our kids. You can see they're definitely enjoying it and these smiles are the reason why I do this kind of thing and because I just love doing it. So I appreciate it if you liked and uh, subscribed to the channel and if you're curious about more about what we do you can click on the link above to check out our other channel Hold the Walnuts. On our Hold the Walnuts YouTube channel, we document our efforts at gardening and homesteading and cooking food from scratch and just trying to be self-sufficient and, and healthy.